Hi everyone, it's AJ. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my episode 2 review for Dexter New Blood. Let's talk about this episode. Okay, so this episode follows on where the last episode ended. Dexter has killed Matt Caldwell. Um, Dexter's son Harrison has showed up. And yes, um, so... This episode deals with the police hunting for Matt Caldwell, who has been um, reported missing. They appear at Dexter's cabin, um, because Dexter lives close to the hunting grounds, um, and set up a, 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 a base of operation around his fire pit, so they, they got a place where they can keep warm and this sort of a thing. Um, the whole episode deals with the search for the body of Matt Caldwell. Um, Dexter has to get one step in front of him because he hasn't killed for a while. He's made mistakes and the blood trail has been left. He has to cover his trail and point the police into a different direction. All while dealing with um, Harrison who's who's popped up and yeah. So Harrison ends up going off with the police chief's daughter to a cabin Um um, with with a load of her friends, they're joining in on the search, but they don't. They go elsewhere so they can um, smoke drugs and this sort of thing, you know. But Dexter's son doesn't get involved with that. We learn that Dexter's son has had a drug problem in the past. We find out that um, the character from the previous series of Dexter, um, Dexter's girlfriend, um, played by Yvonne Shizovsky, who took Harrison as a child to raise him, has died previously several years before of cancer um, and thusly that's why Harrison has come in search of, of Dexter now. Um, so the episode deals with a lot of growth within the characters and again deals with you getting to know the characters all the while giving you this thin subplot of the young girl that came to town in the first episode um, ended up getting drunk and she's been locked into this room that she can't get out of that looks like a hotel room um, which is it, and there's a threat of her being killed in there that she's not going to make it out alive. Thus setting up another subplot, uh, Dexter, to deal with. Um, at the end of the episode, Clancy Brown, a.k.a. the Kurgan from Highlander, um, he appears as the father of Matt Caldwell, um, who's a well-respected individual of the town. Um, but the, the, the search for Matt Caldwell has been called off because they found a glove near the highway um, and believe that He's done a runner after shooting the white deer on reservation, um, Native American reservation land. And yeah, but, but Matt Corbell's father, father comes into the fray at the end and uh, uh, pleads with everyone to not give up on the search, to continue with the search and much to Dexter's dismay. They all, all agree to continue searching. Um, you come to learn that at the end of the episode, the, the body of Matt Corbell has actually been buried beneath Dexter's fire pit. The camera pans down with sort of like showing what's underneath while Dexter, the police chief, and the father and Dexter's son are all around the fire pit and the body's in a bag underneath. Um, so there you go. So it's, it's a slower episode for sure. Um, intriguing, um, very interesting. Um, the characters are growing on me. Um, Fantastic to see Clancy Brown again in something. He's a fantastic actor. He's superb. Um, Michael C. Hall as Dexter is, like I said in the last episode, he stepped back into this role very, very easily. Um, so that's fantastic. I wasn't too keen at the start on Dexter's son, um, but he's sort of grown on me as the episode continues. Um, it doesn't look like he's got a bad streak at the moment. Um, we'll see how that plays out. And all this sort of thing. So, as the second episode goes, it, it has sprinklings of, of, of stuff to come. Um, it doesn't really jump into the full narrative of the season yet, of, of what's going on and, and what Dexter has to deal with. Um, it's sowing its seeds very gradually and very carefully. But, fantastic episode. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so like I said, a bit slower, but... You know, pacing, it's all character stuff. But no, all, all in all, very good, very enjoyable, fantastic to see um, Dexter back. Can't wait for episode three. Anyway, this is AJ. If you enjoyed that, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I will be reviewing every episode um, as they drop. 
um, or as I watch them, you know what I mean. Um, anyway, so thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care all and goodbye.